Continuing with my search for massive one-shot sniper hits, in this video I'll show you how to hit up to 2 million damage per shot using a bolt-action sniper. And these nights are getting shorter Like a banner I conquer In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real I'll be the hill. This is an updated version of a build I released 4 or 5 weeks ago, the Poor Man's Sniper build. In that video I was showing how to hit numbers just over the 1 million mark through the use of the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag and non-classified set pieces. A month later, after a hell of a lot of grinding, I now have the full 6 piece classified Deadeye set. Like I said in the earlier video, I'm not a fan of Deadeye. I like my headshots to count, and I love seeing those big numbers pop up. So I won't be building the traditional Deadeye build, in fact, after a lot of playing around with it, I won't even be using the full 6 piece set. Bear with me though, if you follow what I show you here, you should be landing up to 2 million crits in no time. There's actually more opportunity to take this number even higher, for example, equipping a mobile cover and having a teammate running a high skill power build providing max pulse will help, but for the purpose of this video I'll be explaining it as a solo build. A couple of notes before I get started. Even though we won't be using the Deadeye for its 4 piece perk, it'll still be unlocked. The 4 piece bonus states, when zoomed, marksman rifles lose headshot bonus but gain 50% strike chance when out of cover, and 100% strike chance when in cover. So basically it's quite important to remember not to zoom in, or you'll lose your headshot damage. Shoulder the weapon only, which is fine on console as most of the time you'll be snapping on and off the shouldering to take advantage of the auto aim. While we're talking about aim, the other thing that needs to be mentioned is that, unlike Deadeye, you need to be able to hit your headshots. Only having every second or third bullet being a headshot will severely lower your damage output, and I'll explain why very soon. Finally, just because you'll be able to hit these massive numbers doesn't mean you'll be able to run around the DZ like Woods, one-shotting every player you see. Though I have tried it in PvP with a little success, it's a little bit too situational and for this reason I would state that this is build intended mainly for PvE. As with all of my build videos, I'll be trying to keep this as clear and concise as possible. The idea is for you to use this as a starting point or a template for your own build. Change things up and personalize it for your style of play. As per usual, I've included a cheat sheet at the end of the video that sums up this build and everything discussed here. This build consists of 5 piece classified Deadeye and a reckless chest. The idea is to stack as much into firearms, headshot damage and critical hit damage as possible. Full glass cannon. All gear pieces have been rolled into firearms. The major attributes you should be aiming for are critical hit damage, knee pads, backpack and gloves, skill haste, body armor, gloves and holster, and skill power, mask. The one minor attribute that's a must is damage to elites, mask and knee pads. Usually critical hit damage would be a bad call and a waste of an attribute in comparison to other options, but because of the nature of this build, critical hit damage is converted directly into damage, so 9% critical hit damage can be considered as a 9% damage increase. All gear mods are firearms with increased damage to elites. All performance mods are pulse critical hit damage. Applying the above should leave you with around 10k firearms, 200% headshot damage, and 140% plus critical hit damage. The equipped skills are Tactical Scanner and Booster Shot. Tactical Scanner for an increase in critical hit damage and Booster Shot for a further increase in damage. Feeding into Skill Haste will allow you to have these running more often. 
The two talents I would call a must are Critical Save and Strike Back, to help get you out of those sticky situations if your health gets low. The other two slots are optional, here I'm using Tactical Advance and Precision for even more damage. Tactical Advance comes highly recommended, because you'll be quite squishy, you'll be forced to play this game as a cover shooter. Weird, right? So if you can adjust your playstyle to utilise the cover to cover more often, this will be a good constant boost to your damage. The primary weapon I'm using is the custom M44, and here's where things go a little different from the standard Deadeye build. Nothing up until this point has been placed into critical hit chance, so one of the skills on this weapon is an absolute requirement of this build. Disciplined. Killing a target will make your next shot with the weapon be an automatic critical hit. So with this triggered, which can be reasonably easy with a bolt action sniper, and landing consistent headshots, you'll be mowing down NPCs left, right and centre. Personally, I still haven't managed to find the best sniper, but the perfect weapon would be a bolt action sniper, with high base damage, disciplined, prepared, for the multiplicative damage increase, and deadly, for the further increase in critical hit damage. Brutal is another option, but to get a good idea of how the different attributes work with additive and multiplicative damage, I'd suggest watching a video that was recently released by Marco Style. I'll link it in the description below. The secondary weapon is really up to you. I'd recommend a closer combat weapon for anything that manages to rush you down, but if you're confident with your sniping, you may choose to use a higher rate of fire marksman rifle. Here I'm using the lightweight M4. So that's it. I'll continue with my quest of finding bigger headshot hits with the sniper, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm trying out a new format for my build videos. Still trying to keep them short and sweet, but without missing out too much of the vital information. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see me playing live, you can often find me teaming up with my mate Metallicane on his stream, Friday and Saturday night, New Zealand, Australia time. Yeah, I know, exciting Friday night, but hey, keeps me out of trouble. Anyway, I'll link his Twitch in the description below. Thanks!